Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about what will the crown tundra be like? Because the last time I made one of these kind of videos, it was on the Isle of Armour, but I did not make one regarding the crown tundra. So then now we're going to see what the crown tundra, the whole game actually, will be like once the crown tundra arrives. I actually did make a video regarding this stuff and now that we've got pseudo legendaries like Salamence and other things like Dragonite coming along, the competitive is going to be much different. So many new Pokemon are just going to have so many boosts with Dynamax and other factors. Also, we can't forget the new legendaries that have come in the Crown Tundra. While we know nothing about Calyrex, or Calyrex, here we have got... So then, it looks like it's going to have a bunch of Pokemon, which... And we also have stuff like the Regis, which I don't think are going to impact it too much, because we know all about their stats right now. They are bringing back Relicanth and everything, but then we also do know that we are getting... Um, we are getting the new Regis, and also a bunch of those old legendaries that is shown when they represent the Max Raid Adventures. Here is Regieleki, which has Thunder Cage, and that is Dragon Energy over there. You've also got those three signature moves. We also know that we're going to be having Blaziken, Sceptile, and that Marsh Tomp thing returning so then i designed a bunch of dead gmax forms which actually might come in the next part of this expansion pass here we have my depiction of gmax blaziken which looks a bit goofy among the head but it might have something like gmax drought kick and have quite good effects i also designed a gmax swampert which would have G-Max Marsh Mash, which would also, it just sounds quite nice. And then we've got G-Max Sceptile with something like G-Max Tree Bash or G-Max Sceptical Storm. We can also probably affect or maybe just see new following animations for the new added Pokemon. And what I am very positive about thinking is that they might just might add data form Zerud into the game with having an in-game person give it to you, just like we got the Ash Hat, except I think maybe we should give Zerud a scarf, and which is probably more important than us getting Ash Hats, I would think. Also, we have the Galarian Star Tournament, which is probably going to be quite a fun thing to do. Probably not as challenging as Restricted Sparring is, but it's definitely going to be something fun. And some pro tip is going to be don't team up with Hop, because he's just going to use his double and mess everything up. Another one of our great expectations is Galarian Slowking, which I've put a lot of emphasis on, and I think it's going to be great. I don't, what I don't want them to do is to take away the idea of its hand being clamped with a shelter because that would mess up its signature move. And also, I don't want them to erase the typing either, although many people think that it's going to end up as a ghost psychic type, which would be a bit sad on my behalf because... I think that they just gave it a new never before seen typing. They shouldn't probably take it away that fast. Here we have the Galarian Slowking. I think it looks quite a lot like the normal Slowking, but they did not decide to put the shell on the arm, which is quite evident because you can see that it is clamped on the head. There might also be new moves added, 
as well. And Calyrex or Calyrex might get a new signature move and might actually be overpowered. But we have no idea because if you look on the Pokemon official website, all that they tell us is this. That it ruled over the Galar region and its grass psychic and some other stuff that really didn't help us in picturing what the Crown Tundra will be like. Obviously, there will be lots of chambers and the Dynamax adventures will be very cool and probably very fun to do. And that is what I would picture as the Crown Tundra to be. Because... And it really looked quite fun! Oh no. That was very unexpected. But yeah, to wrap this up, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my videos for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.